okay, uh, to talk about a tool that you might use uh, while working on the group project, uh, one of the things that's often, a tool that's often used in website design and development is called Balsamic. And Balsamic allows you to do uh, essentially wireframing of what web pages might look like or app pages might look like for that matter. Uh, so I've, lo I've logged into my Balsamic account, which is MBA 590, just because I chose that name. Um, and I can create a new project. So I'm gonna create Jenkins Digital Marketing, right? And I can even give the little folder a different color if I want, stuff like that to make it a little fancier, right? So I can create the project, right? And then it dumps me right into the project. And there's three main things you can do within the project. You can add a mock-up, you can give additional team members access, and you can add uh, images and other things that you want all the team members to have, right? And there's a full guided tour if you want to kind of give you some additional information. But let's create a mock-up, which we you know sometimes call a wireframe or a prototype. Um, and so I can, uh, for instance, create, let's say, a form for my website. Say I want to have a registration form on my website, right? Uh, well, the first thing I might uh, want to do in that, in that example is create like a, a basic space for that form to be in. So for instance, it might be on a browser window, right? So let's say it's on JenkinsDigitalMarketing.com, right? Um, and so I have my browser window and I can make it a little, I can make it a little bit bigger, right? Um, and then I can paste in some aspects from the form, right? So for instance, maybe at the very top of the browser window, I wanna have a, a description of what the form is. So I have registration form here, right? And then, um, you know, potentially, I wanna have some text describing that form, but I don't wanna worry about what it is, so I just can paste in this text block of text field below, right, to kind of describe the, what the registration form is. And then I can go back to the forms list uh, to add a bunch of entries for the forms. So, you know, one of them, obviously, I'm gonna to wanna to do is just like text input. So, you have text input, first name, right, last name, and, one nice thing about Balsamic because it does like it'll land everything up for you, so it looks good, right? Gives you all those and does the little snap to grid thing for you, right? And then let's imagine that after you know I fill in a bunch more of these fields, eventually I get to a spot where I want to have people be able to submit what they've registered, right? So submit. And now it actually looks like my 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 browser window was too big, which is fine, so I can go and make it a little smaller to fit better, right? Okay. So now I kind of have this like wireframe description, uh, which allows me to start, you know, mocking up the website before I spend some time investing in actually developing the website, right? Um, and this is useful, you know, for instance, I can create a bunch of these and send them off to a web developer, whether they're in my company or, you know, in a different uh, country even, uh, to help them help design the website, right? So this is the registration form. Of course, I can save this out, call it, Registration form. And I can create, close it out and create a new one. For instance, for the home page, go back over to containers, browser window, uh, Jenkins uh, digital marketing .com, right? Um, and I can again, you know, put something simple on there and I can create like a bigger heading, right? So I can put like the whole, the, you know, have a title, Jenkins Digital Marketing for the, the main text. Maybe make this browser window a little bigger, right? And then, you know, have some sort of text. Oh, shoot. Accidentally went backwards. Didn't mean to. Let's see if it saved it. Hopefully it did. Oh, it did, good. Um, so I can pull down that block of text, put it right in there, right? And then I can put in one of those buttons, like before, for contact us. The idea being that that would then take them to that registration form that I created on the other page, right? Um, so then I can save this page off. Home page, save. 
right? Um, close it out. And now I have these two wireframes, right, that I can then send to people. Um, I can invite other project members to collaborate with me so I can add people and help them collaborate directly on this, right? Or if I want to just share the image with them, right, um, I can actually just um, download the image, right, directly to my desktop, right? So I can just drag it off of there onto my desktop if I want. Um, or I can send them an image permalink. And what the image permalink does that's nice is that no matter how I change the page, it will automatically be reflected in this link. So say I make some modifications overnight and then someone looks at the next morning, they would see the new version automatically, right? Um, so this is all good for creating individual pages and kind of mocking up what they're gonna look like um, for uh, design, for website design. But what we haven't talked about is how you might describe linking them together. And for that, you really need kind of a diagramming tool. Uh, and so we're gonna talk a little bit about Gliffy in another one of the video lectures uh, to discuss that. So that's Balsamic, hope it's helpful. Uh, take care.